Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 52, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. If you remember from yesterday's episode, we uh, were climbing Death Peak to go and revive Chrono and then move on our way to a variety of side quests. Um, the ascent was taking a little bit longer than expected, so... Um, let us get back to that. I still can't help but think there was something else that we were supposed to do over there, but... No, 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 no. Other way, other way, other way. Push the shell. Come on. There we go. And let us not forget the box. A memory cap or memory cape? Memory cap. Okay. So right now, just about everybody's got vigilance hats that prevent all status ailments. Defense of 36. Oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, I believe we found gold is what we found. Ah, uh, yes. Here we go. Now, fair warning. The things that people say and what happens next depends on who you have in your party. So this is one of those things that it's worth doing a few times through the new game plus to see what different people have to say. All right. So, who... Uh, yeah, no, I doubt this is the party I want for this go-round. This is it, the summit of Death Peak. You who fear the night and stand against the darkness, please give us your strength. Chrono. The pendant's reacting. It shattered. But we've come so far. Do not despair. It was foolish to think we could cheat death. Please answer me. Don't leave me. Chrono. Chrono. A time freeze. I never dreamt it possible. Like stone statues, an unsettling sight. Uh, okay. Huh. Nothing to say about his sister. It was all for naught. We changed nothing. We just need to exchange the Doppel doll for Chrono. Chrono? It's Chrono. Chrono, you're alive. I'd remain here no longer than we must. Let us be gone. Save the tearful reunions for later. If we've done all we must, let us be on our way.
Chrono. Oh, Chrono, you're back. No worse for wear, I trust. We... We were all waiting for you to come back. You can't. Don't ever leave us like that again. Oh. A lot of things happened, Chrono, while you're away. First we, and then, and after that I, so we, but, Chrono, are you even listening? There's so much I still have to tell you. Will you take Chrono? Yep. Alright, let's get him back in his place and we'll go ahead and... And I know Marley's not the toughest, uh, the toughest party member we have, but, uh, let's see. Yeah, we need, no. We need Ayla. So let's go ahead and get her in there first. Let's talk to the old man. So, all went well. No, don't thank me. I merely placed a piece upon the board. It was not my hand that moved it. If you would thank someone, thank the ones who cared enough to see their friend return to them. By the way, the wings of time have come looking for you. They seem to have a heart and mind all their own. You wish to fight Lavos, correct? Many paths lie before you. You might choose to leap into that bucket or fly the wings of time to the day of Lavos. Or there is the Black Omen, which now straddles time, seeking to summon Lavos yet again. Such folly, lusting so greedily after power that the power wields you. It's up to you to decide when and where you will face Lavos. However, do not think that you stand alone. I have had glimpses, albeit vague, of events, people, and places that will empower you. The fortress of one of Magnus's three former generals in the Middle Ages. It has to be done in the future, in a birthplace of machines. A prehistoric stone that will shine with the light of all the ages of the world. The restless spirit of a proud knight, slain by Magus in the Middle Ages and lingering even in the present. An object of legend in the Middle Ages that sparkles like a rainbow. Speak to your companions. Some among you may well know the figures behind the events which I have seen. Borrow the might of all these lives throughout the ages. Let their strength become your own. For only then can you hope to defeat the enemy you face. Such is the power required should you wish to change the future. I will remain here and bear witness to the world's fate. All right, first things first. All right, everybody's... No, not everybody's at full health. All right, now everybody's at full health. And let us save the faded hour. All right, so here's where we launch into all the optional side quests. Look at you, ladies weeping over you, left and right. The spirit of a proud knight. Could it be? Don't you dare put us through that again. Solar energy was used eons ago, long before Lavos was discovered as a source of power. It might be just the thing we need to combat him. Yeah, everybody's going to show you their little bit. 
We'll change up the party so you can see the last two as well. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. Father, I wonder how you're doing now. Take me with you? Yes. Because that will let me swap him. And swap her. Now we can go ahead and check the last few. Chrono. Fight Lava, Strong Armor, Ayla Village have. Go see. Alright. Don't worry. I'll change up the party. Everyone appears to be in a more cheerful state when Chrono is here. A birthplace of machines. Do I have a hometown too? Hmm. Your death was owed to weakness. My generals. So they still live. Ozzy did maintain a fortress in the style of my own keep. I wonder. Hmm. Alright, and while we're at it... Hey, Punkhead! Where you been? What do you want? You looking for some practice? Not just yet. Because this is the form he keeps right up until level 98. At level 99, he takes on the new form, and I'm not I'm not feeling too uh, uh, froggy, if you will. <laughs> All right. So I can't remember if you have to have Ayla in your party to go to the next one, but we'll go ahead and do that anyway. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and hop in the time machine instead of trying to figure out which one's... Uh, which one's which on the gates? Because I can never remember which one. So let's go take off. And let's go back to prehistory. Oh, there's the dactyls. Right where we left them. Um, yeah. Let's go to the Oka hut. And let's talk to this guy right here. Make strong armor. Use many rubies. Trade for petal, fang, horn, feather. Ten each. You want to trade? Yes. All right, so that's one. You still want? Yes, that's two. Actually, you know what? Let's just do that for uh, as many as we can. That way we can equip all that we need and then uh, sell the rest. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh, we have nothing. Okay, maybe we did nine already. All right, let's go here because we got stuff to sell and equip. So let's go ahead and start with the equip. Uh, attack of 125, that's an attack of 135. Alright, so let's do that, attack of 135. And the Dark Helm and the Memory Cap, yeah, no. And right now the Aeonian Suit is a defense of 75, that brings it up to 78 and reduces fire damage to one fifth. It's almost like that's something we're going to need in just a minute. All right, so let's get the ruby armor on. We'll keep the gold stud on them. And next, so we got the right there. We got the right there. Let's switch that to here. And let's switch that to there. And let's switch that. Yeah, okay. And ruby armor. And ruby armor. Ruby armor. And we're back to the beginning. Okay, everybody's got ruby armor. Let's go sell off the stuff that we don't need anymore. So he doesn't need the Kaiser arm. Gone. The Demon Slayer, I might hang on to, because that's still a times two against magical beings. Um, I don't see myself doing a lot of switching back and forth for the, the most optimal. Yeah, 
in which case I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. I don't want to carry stuff I don't need. Uh, Headsmith Scythe, let's go ahead and sell that. The Empyrean Blade, let's sell that. The Rune Blade, let's sell that. The Vahara Sword, let's sell that. The Dark Helm, let's go ahead and... Yeah, that's nothing but downers all around. Um, let's hang on to it for the Shadow Damage. The memory cap, we definitely don't need. We've got a couple extra ruby armors. So let's sell those. And we're hanging on to the blue plate, the red plate, the white and black. Um, for reasons that escape me at the moment. Oh, because it absorbs the damage types. We might actually want red plate on somebody. Well, except for the defense. Never mind. All right, let's go sell off all those Aeonian suits and sell off that raven armor well that leaves us sitting pretty with um, the gold um, we don't really need potions mid potions or panaceas so that about does it there all right legitimately that is it for Ayla's side quest now uh, when they send you on this, they don't actually expect you to have 99 of everything. So the idea is you go back up to the Happy Hunting Grounds, you grind out whatever it is that gets you uh, 10 of everything, buy a ruby suit, rinse, repeat. Uh, so that's it for there. And... All right, that... We might be able to do that one pretty quick. All right, so for this next one, it's actually Luca's side quest. So let's go to the party, and let's switch Ayla for Luca. You don't have to have her for this one, but he's the one that, that kicked off this quest, so we might as well, right? All right, so what we're going to do... Oh, no, wrong button. We're going to want to go to... to the future... And now we got to find the Sun Palace. Uh, if I remember right, that was somewhere in the northeast corner or the southwest corner? The Sun Shrine. There we go. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah. Ooh. Um, hmm. He's worth 40 tech points. How many does Magus need? He needs a lot. Um, all right. I want charm more than I want to get his tech points up. So we'll go ahead and swap in Ayla. And let's see. Okay. Just double checking my uh, notes. I thought this was it. Is this not it? Okay. Oh, because this is the Sun Shrine. Do we need to go to the Sun Palace first? All right. Um. So let's see that down the. Oh, okay. I need that one to the bottom left because that. This one here is Robo's side quest. Oh, wrong button. Nope. There we go. 
And I need to head to left. Ish. And this is the Sun Temple. Okay. And this is actually where I'm going to go ahead and say thank you for joining the long so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. Yes, this is a bit of a tease. There is still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow in Twitch to get notified when I go live. And definitely, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. Helps the channel out and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content gets posted. So live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. And YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.